There's a special alchemy of the experience here, of place in the natural environment, of transformation from our limited understanding, to say the least, of who counts as fully human and fully worth dignity, our commitment to intellectual inquiry and following the truth wherever it may lead us. We have a broad array of intellectual disciplines that literally helps us understand and embrace the world. The Episcopal Church is central to the identity here at Swanee. It doesn't mean that you have to be Episcopalian to come to Swanee. I am not, I'm a Presbyterian. But it does mean that that is the starting point of a conversation of who we understand ourselves to be as people who have a common recognition of our shared humanity. Sawani is a place where students can be transformed as they both discover what they're interested in, as well as look out of the world that is in need. This big, beautiful space standing in the center of campus is like an open question. What are you gonna do with your life? Why does it matter? I think Sewanee has an interesting way of taking the drive to make change and giving you the tools to do that. I volunteer to help with the food hub, distributing local goods from the farmer's market. It's this bustling place of volunteers coming together to achieve a common goal. Sewanee provides an experience and an education that allows the folks that live here and the folks that study here to be in community, to study and to further explore everything that the church has been through, what the church is going through now, and hopefully what the church can bring in the future. I just immediately got here and felt like this was home. Our ability to dwell here together, people from all over the world coming here to, to study and to engage, actually helps us to build deeper human bonds across difference. When someone asks me to describe Suwani, what comes to my mind is a sense of community. I think that's like one of the things that Suwani really transformed my way of thinking, like being able to have this sort of perspective to think like what others would think. For me, it's a place that I can call home. It's definitely the place that is teaching me and giving me the social skills to navigate all these different opportunities that I have in life. The natural world has so much to teach us about transformation, resilience, restoration, even reconciliation. Once you have a love for something, the next step is to, to care for it. When I'm outside working at the farm, I think about the progress that I'm making in myself here as a Swanee student. It leaves a lot of room for thought. It leaves a lot of room for wonder. Students feel it's their duty to go out and help serve uh, creation and make the world a better place. My favorite place at Sawani requires you to go to Morgan Steep, and I love to go there with my kids. I mention Morgan Steep the name, however, because it's one of those names based upon a slaveholding connection. This is what we have in Sawani, this amazing natural beauty combined with this really difficult story that we need to tell and be honest and open about. If we can talk about the, the ugliness of, of, of our beginnings, and we can move from that, and we can reconcile, if Swanee can do it, then I think anybody can do it. The times in which we live have called the question for us as a country and for us as a university. Who are we going to be? For the University of the South, the question is very simple. Are we the University of the Old South? Or are we the University of a South that recognizes the fundamental humanity of all of us? We welcome with open arms all who wish to dwell here on the mountain, to dwell together in unity. <laughs>